100 Things You Need to Know About Living in a Bus. Hello, David Castle here. Day 58 on the road, 1,158 days living in the bus. I'm uh, giving my first solar cell report. I've pulled by the side of the road. I've got the solar collectors on the roof. I've been running the cell now for about 24 hours, and in that time, I've managed to keep our 45-watt fridge operational and uh, charged my computer twice and my phone about six times. That's really all we need at the moment. There isn't much else. At nighttime, I use uh, solar flashlights to light the inside of the bus. And um, when it's hot like this, like it is today, it's 32 degrees, I open up all the doors and I get a nice breeze and I carry around my uh, mask as uh, a rag to wipe my face when I start collecting sweat on my brow. So that's really about it. Um, we're at parking spot number seven in my list of favorite parking spots around my daughter's school. I try and park usually about five to six minutes bike ride away so we can get her to school on time and not have it be too much of a, of a trek. So that's today's report. Um, I'll have more reports uh, later on and I will actually show you the Delta 1300 rechargeable solar cell that I'm using in one of my next broadcasts. All right, until I see you again, tune in next time, same city, same planet. 100 things you need to know about living in a bus.